works me up so badly. Oh, hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. What this channel even is. It gets more and more chaotic with every video, I swear. But I'm here and I have been gone for a hot minute, just a teeny bit of time. Your girl is trying to get more regular putting out the content and I do have some exciting things in the pipeline. Some things that I'm pretty psyched about and I think you guys are gonna be pretty psyched about too. But that, that is all the information that I can give you for now. I need to create some excitement, some hype. When you go down the personal hygiene aisle in the supermarket, you will at some point be greeted by a range of feminine hygiene products as they like to call them, which is basically just a euphemism for your vagina is really smelly and men don't like to smell it and we would like you to please cover that up. But seriously, when did we start deciding that your vagina was supposed to smell like a bed of roses or like a summer's day or a summer's eve or whatever the hell all these products are called and all these different scents. And when the hell did someone decide that we need to start scrubbing our vaginas Raw. And before anyone comes for me, yes, I know the correct term is vulva. Vulva is what we can actually see on the outside. Vagina technically is the cavity inside of us. That is the bit that we cannot see. But I just like the word vagina more. It has more of a ring to it, like pussy. Your pussy is supposed to smell like a pussy. I know. Shocking. And it's also, by the way, not supposed to have absolutely no taste or odor to it whatsoever. Where's the flavor in this? That is a sign that you have overcleaned. And by the way, that is one of the main reasons why women end up getting our pH out of whack, getting bacterial things going on. Vaginal discharge, which is that stuff that comes out in your undies, you can see it when you go to the bathroom, that is your vagina cleaning itself. It is a very smart little machine, quite frankly. It knows what it is doing. Now, of course, you should in the shower wash it with some warm water, but you do not need to be putting soap down there or special washes, and you sure as Hell, don't need to be douching whatever you do. Do not douche your vagina. Douches are a recipe for a bacterial infection. You are essentially injecting bacteria into your body. Just don't do it. Your vagina does not need to be clinically sterilized. Besides the obvious reason that this really annoys me because there is no actual need for these products and we have somehow managed to manipulate and brainwash women and girls into thinking there is something wrong with the smell of their vaginas. There is such a double standard around the expectations when it comes to genitals based off your gender. Because while you can walk down the supermarket or walk down the drugstore aisle and find a whole bunch of products essentially telling you that your vagina smells and you need to do something about it, you're not gonna find any washes for dicks. Where are the dick washes? That's what I would like to see. Instead of Vagisil, like, Dickasil, Cockasil, Penisil? We don't teach men and people with penises to hate their bodies and to be repulsed by their own bodies and constantly think there is something wrong with them that needs fixing or covering up. And this is despite the fact that the majority of people with penises do not follow very good genital hygiene. It is not remotely uncommon for a guy to just flop out a sweaty dick at the end of the day completely unwashed and expect his partner to take it. Have you ever gone down on someone with a penis and had them say to you, does it taste okay? Or does it smell okay? Of course you haven't because men have been taught they are offering you a kind of gift. The reason so many people with vulvas have complexes about their smell and taste is because at some point they've had a male partner make a really damaging because at some point they've had a male partner make a really disparaging comment that has caused them to become hugely self-conscious. And often that comment won't just extend to the taste and odor, but it will also extend to the way someone's vulva looks. I already know that there will be men that are watching right now that are going, but some pussies really do not smell good. And like some pussies, they're just like, it's, it's too fluffy. It's too 
It's too meaty down there. And to those men, I say, do you actually like vagina? Because you will never hear a lesbian say, I just don't know if I can go down on a girl because like the smell, you know, the taste. Oh, it's so great. And don't even get me started on the way it looks. Lesbians don't say that because we love pussy. We love being in amongst it. The flappier, the better. But also, if it's not flappy, that's cool too. The sweatier, the better. I shared a meme recently, which was honestly just a joke meme from a lesbian page on my social media that was essentially saying, do some jumping jacks or something before we go down there. So it can get nice and sweaty and we can really have those juices flowing to like fully enjoy you. It was so depressing to see the number of women that responded saying, this isn't true, is it? Like, because I thought that I wasn't allowed to have any smell or taste down there. Not just that, but women proceeded to share with me horror stories of things they had done to try to cleanse and sterilize and essentially just wash away any basic hint that their vagina was a vagina. One woman actually told me she had used hydrogen peroxide on her pussy, all because some loser guy that she once dated told her that her pussy smelled rank. So if you are someone with a vulva and you are currently having sex with someone who is telling you that it doesn't smell or look or taste right, unless you are genuinely concerned that you have some kind of a situation going on that you need to go and see your doctor about, which I would advise you to do if you notice any change in your natural odor or your consistency of discharge. But unless that is the case, you need to stop fucking that person. If your partner actually likes pussy, your partner will enjoy the odors and the flavors of your pussy. They won't want you to be concealing it and washing it away. If someone is invited to go down here to spend time down here, I am offering them a VIP experience. And I sure as hell am not going to be worried about the taste, the smell, or how long they are down there. Grab a snorkel or something, but don't come up until you have made me come. On that same note, if you are a guy who says, I don't really go down on someone unless it's serious. Like not, not really until we're in a relationship because that, that's very intimate to me. That's okay. You do you boo, but don't you dare expect your partner to swallow your And look, if he's a bit hesitant and you need to just push his head down a little bit just to get him down there, then do it because you are actually just bridging the orgasm gap. That's a joke, obviously, but like also not. But seriously, if a guy tells you that he just doesn't go down, do you really want to give him a blowjob when he has already told you that your pleasure is not a priority to him? I hope that your answer is no. This topic really gets me worked up. It gets me frankly worked up into a sweat. And yes, I'm in a sweat when my pussy is sweaty too. And I am okay with my pussy being sweaty. Do some jumping jacks now and get your partner to get on down there and set up camp for as long as it takes and relax and know your pussy is supposed to smell like a pussy. And if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you can replace him with a vibrator. If you are new here and you're like, this video is kind of all over the shop. I have no idea what this bitch's vibe is, but I'm like kind of vibing it. Hit that subscribe button and join my fam. We're very sex positive here. And we also, yeah, we like a bit of chaos. We're not judgmental about people with poor time management and organizational skills. If you had some time management tips, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below. But more importantly, let me know what your thoughts are on feminine hygiene washes and on men who refuse to go downtown. Also, to be clear, those men are not welcome here. So if you're one of those men, yeah. I will see you all in the next video. Love you. Mwah.